Hey guys, welcome back to another video and we are on this uh, mini series of the Hackintosh. Uh, on this particular one we're going to see how to fix the boot on the particular case of the ASUS Z87 platform uh, motherboards uh, which will also work, I think will work on all across ASUS motherboards um, and I only have two to test which one, this one here is the Z87 uh, motherboard, expert ASUS motherboard and the one that I did show on the previous video over there it's the Z, uh, sorry not the Z, H81M Plus so if this is something that is not working with you and you, you have to put the pen there on your computer to boot it up uh, you might want to stick with this uh, video Okay, and welcome back to the video after this short intro. Um, so the problem is, uh, once you do the Unibeast installation, Multibeast with drivers, uh, install the bootloaders and so on, ASUS uh, motherboards, I think that the Z97 um, will work fine without this fix, but on the Z87, which is my case, um, I had to, to leave the pen there so I could have the boot screen oops and go sorry about that <laughs> I was losing my pen uh, so I could go to the uh, the boot itself and then get into the screen and talking about the screen let's go to the screen I'm going to place my USB pen on the computer just to mention something that I didn't mention on the previous video which, which was uh, the installation itself I used uh, Unibeast and uh, this is a album that I have just to test the sound <laughs> when I installed uh, Unibis to create the, 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 the installation drive and then Multibis to install the uh, drivers uh, and um, one thing that I would like to mention as well uh, it's this uh, Tony Mac X86 uh, you just have to download the tools here and install them I'm not going to show you how to install the OS 10 because uh, honestly there is much much more people there out there in the community in the Akintosh community that can teach you this 10,000 times better than I can because uh, I, I'm a beginner on this and as I said previously this hopefully will be not a permanent build for me will be only something that I can work until um, an iMac or, or the new Mac Pro refresh I don't know something that really pleases me and then I will have no problem in buying it and replacing this um, system here but if you follow the channel you know uh, what I'm talking about if you don't follow the channel just browse around you will see uh, you will see what I think but let's go back here and go straight to the point so the problem was I could not boot up without this pen here uh, on the system so I did find uh, someone which uh, I did follow him in the past which is Bob Roosh this guy is a expert in the Akintosh so this is one of the persons that can teach you and he has a lot of videos there uh, how to install OS 10 in this particular case uh, Yosemite uh, on your system so if you are looking for uh, an installation guide just go here or browse Google, YouTube and you will find those instructions uh, let's go back to the screen he has one particular video which is called and if you search for this install bootloader to EFI partition quick Hackintosh tip he explains and you just have to follow these uh, these uh, lines of codes uh, and one thing that I would like to mention is just use your pen as just name your pen as Unibeast which will be uh, the same name that you will use here so it will uh, will ease on your uh, tasks and he will give you a, a few line of codes that you will um, simulate uh, well you will create a new 
uh, EFI partition, you will make some changes. Some of them I did understand, some of them I didn't understand to be honest, but the reality is it is working. So this is the guy that you want to follow to uh, see uh, about this particular fix. Uh, fix sorry, uh, His name is Bob Rush. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing it well, hopefully I am and he has lots of videos. One of these saved uh, my, well not saved but fixed this problem which uh, previously I had to put the pen to put it up and now I have this one working and that one in testing but uh, still working, no glitches, no, no, no problems at all. So this was one of the problems that I had and after applying these lines of code um, what I did was place the video on one screen and then my terminal on, on another screen and just copied exactly as he was saying on this particular video here and after I rebooted as he said everything went fine um, so this is the guy to go to resolve this problem with the Z87 uh, platform as I said I think Z97 don't have these problems anymore uh, Gigabyte even the Z87 doesn't have so I'm not really sure if it's just Asus or not but uh, honestly thumbs up for Bob Rush and if you find this video helpful to find the video of Bob thumbs up if you already saw the video uh, well I don't know thumbs down or no thumbs at all I don't know I just want to share this small experience and the next topic going to be a sound fix when we install uh, Yosemite. So stay tuned for the next video if that's uh, a topic that matters to you and bye bye.